Hi, it's John here from GPS Train. What we're going to do in this short video is look at the best current GPS unit for geocaching. For those of you who don't know, geocache is like a treasure hunt with a GPS units. And what I've done is brought together the best selling GPS units for, for geocaching, which are all Garmin GPS units that are currently on the market. And they range massively in price, currently from 14999 right up to 500 pounds 4999 and then if you're wanting ordnance survey on top of that you'd need to add on another 100 pound or something along those lines if you're not ordnance survey 1 to 50k mapping so what are the key features we're going to think about when we think about a gps unit for geocaching number of things i would think of first of all screen size how big do you want your screen second thing is how you're going to get your geocaches onto your gps unit number of ways of doing that the most common way is just to do what's called a pocket query so on geocaching.com you can select the geocaches that you want download them as a pocket query and then transfer them onto your gps device via usb cable alternatively a number of these units have what's called live geocaching which means that you can tether with your mobile phone or alternatively with a wi-fi connection and you can download those caches accordingly directly onto the gps device so if you wish to you can take the mobile you can take your um pc or mac out of the equation downside of live geocaching is that you can only download 25 caches at a time so i kind of think the best way to do it is download your caches with a pocket query if you're going on holiday somewhere but where live geocaching comes really very useful is if you stop on the way home or something like that for lunch somewhere you've not got the caches on you didn't know you were going to be there you can just download those directly onto the unit and that's one of the benefits of live geocaching other thing we need to think about is electronic compass the electronic compass gives the gps gps accuracy a small movements the only one of these units that does not have electronic compass is the etrex 22x this is a, a basic color screen gps unit from garmin why we need an accurate why we need electronic compass on this gps or on a gps unit if you're heading to a cache that is say here so if we mark my cache here if you put your gps like that it will point towards the cache if you rotate this gps to 90 degrees it will now point over here even though your cache is in this location because it's working on satellites thousands of miles above it won't you need to be moving with this gps to make it work so you need to walk in x five or six meters in one direction and then the arrow will work out which way you're going and point you back to where you want to go to so for that reason i'm going to take that out of the equation what electronic compass comes in is as i've just said there it will orientate the map accordingly so again if i orientate the gps unit it will orientate the map and continue to point towards the cache when we're navigating towards that cache so i would strongly recommend if you're looking at a gps unit to get one with the electronic compass which are the five units that we've left ourselves with etrex se garmin etrex se base model coming in 149.99 but even though it's so cheap, it's actually got lots of little hidden gems that actually makes it one of the best units uh, out of the lineup. Etrex 32X, base color screen model GPS unit, comes preloaded with what's called top active mapping. Really nice GPS unit, but it is a base model with a slightly smaller screen. GPS map 65S really nice button gps unit garmin gps map 67 and then finally the large screen the montana 700. so let's take the ones out of the equation that cannot do the live geocaching which are 32x sadly is going to go and 65s sadly going to go so we're left with three gps units etrex se garmin gps map 67 and montana 700 all these units do what we call the live geocaching as well as the pocket query just give you some price barriers one for so price um barrier well, prices 149.99 469.99 and 499.99 massive difference in those prices now so which one is best it's down to your budget isn't it really nice and easy to use 
clear screen. Nice thing about having a screen this size, we can look ahead on the map, in this case, an ordnance survey map, or alternative on the preloaded top of active mapping. We can look three, four kilometers and work out how you're gonna get to that cache with that location. Downside of a touch screen is in a wet, horrible day, you will have to keep wiping that screen to continue to use it. So if you have the budget and you can afford it and you like the idea of a touch screen, nice thing about a touch screen is nice and easy to use. Montana 700, you will not go far wrong with it. If you're also gonna use your GPS unit for hiking and walking as well as geocaching, take a look at the 67, currently the best selling GPS unit currently on the market. I'm actually just gonna switch it on to the backlight stays on all the time, which makes it look a little bit better as well. Okay, GPS map 67, currently Garmin's best selling GPS unit. Benefits of the button is that we can use it with our gloves on on a wet, horrible day. It's actually multi-band as well, which makes it the most accurate GPS unit that we've got on the table in front of us. So if you are going to mainly use it for walking and potentially do geocaching, GPS map 67. Nice thing about a unit this size, you can carry it on your rucksack strap, you can put it in your pocket. It's not too big, where I'll be honest with this, you're really gonna be carrying it with like a pouch or something along those lines. So I'll put it in my hand, you'll see, it is a big GPS unit um, in the hand. So nothing wrong with that if you are going to do short geocaching, but if you do something that's a little bit uh, further afield, it is quite a big GPS unit. And then finally, Etrex SE. This is the little hidden gem here. Black and white, very clear, very clear screen on it because it has a black and white screen on it. Benefits of this is that it's got good battery life. Again, it runs off AA batteries. These other two have built-in batteries as well. Uh, it runs off AA batteries. Again, it does live geocaching. It's a funny one, this, because this, this, this is actually the newest unit out of these three. So just the live geocaching. You don't get the maps on the map page. So again, you just get a directional arrow that you're pointing in to. But again, you can preload those with your um, with your uh, your pocket query or alternative to the live geocaching. So again, if you if you if you've maybe accompanying you alongside a mobile phone or something else, you got maps on um, Etrex SE. Nice thing about all these devices is they're bulletproof. They've got Gorilla Glass on them. You can drop them. You can kick them around. So actually, when you think about geocaching, do you give your son or your daughter your thousand pound iPhone or smartphone, which potentially can break the glass on it, or do you give them an Etrex SE for one hundred forty nine ninety nine, which could be theirs? They own it. They have ownership of it. If it drops, it doesn't matter. It's made to be there and also they get the benefits of when you arrive somewhere they can maybe tether off your mobile phone use your data to line download those geocaches live onto that product so those are some of the products that are available again it's all down to budget the best one of course is the montana 700 but that does come with a price tag if you want more of a multi-activity gps unit look at the 67 again it was purely for geocaching fun activity, you've got young kids around with you and you want to do it, uh, Etrex SE. Interesting conversation, we've just come back from the UK Mega uh, 2023 uh, down in Milton Keynes and uh, I met the guy there from the, um, uh, the, the, the shop part of geocaching.com and he's questioned to me, he said, hi, good day, I said, yeah, I had a great day, thanks very much and he was chatting around and he said to me, how are you getting on with the Garmin Etrex SE? And I said, ah, oh, we've done really well with it. He says, it's been our best selling GPS unit ever because at that price tag, a lot of people are buying it, therefore protecting their smartphones just in case they drop it. Maybe a company there, smartphones as well. This has been struggling to keep this in stock. So I thought maybe really got me thinking is, do you know what? These units are absolutely fantastic if you can afford it. But if you're getting into geocaching, um, and you really want to take it to the next level, you've been using your smartphone, you want to take it to the next level for 150 quid. You can do this with a Garmin Etrex SE. I know what I'm going to go out with this summer and geocaching with. It's actually this GPS unit for just 150 pounds. It's very rarely, I'll say that in what is the best GPS unit. Hey, the best GPS unit is the most expensive. That's usually the case. It is, but it's a lot of money. Alternatively, try the cheaper one. 
give it a go. Look at those great features that we get live geocaching on a £150 um, GPS unit. You won't go far wrong. Don't forget if you buy a GPS unit from ourselves here at GPS Training, you get access to our online resource, online training videos, and there's 50 training videos in each of these units, including how to do the geocaching. Again, we give you telephone support and email support as well, and don't forget we set all these units up before they leave. If you have any questions or any queries about these GPS units or any other GPS units for geocaching or any other activity, please don't hesitate to get in touch with ourselves here at GPS Training.